Hi everyone! Welcome to my video command center. So I thought I'd pop in this video just to make sure you guys are paying attention. Okay, that was kind of weird. Alright, let's get started. Isosceles and equilateral triangles. And our objective today is to use and apply properties of isosceles and equilateral triangles. Let's get started. We're going to start with an isosceles triangle and we need to first cover a little bit of vocabulary. And an isosceles triangle, well it is a triangle that has at least two congruent sides. And the angle up here is called the vertex angle and these sides here that are congruent are specifically called the legs. And these angles down here are called the base angles of an isosceles triangle. And now let's look at the isosceles triangle theorem. It specifically says that if two sides of a triangle are congruent, so we can clearly see here that we have two sides that are congruent, well then the angles opposite those sides are congruent. So in an isosceles triangle, the legs will always be congruent, but these two base angles will always be congruent as well. We're going to use that to help us set up an equation. We're going to find the value of x here. Well, we just learned that if it's an isosceles triangle, that the base angles are congruent. So if this is x here, well this, you got it, has to be x as well. Well, now we have all three angles. We can set up an equation x plus x plus 40 equals 180. And then of course, just doing our basic algebra, x plus x is 2x and then subtract 40 to get 140. Divide both sides by 2, x equals 70. Let's take a look at another one. Alright guys, I'm still here making sure you guys are paying attention. Alright, let's take a close look at this one. Hmm, what jumps out at you? First of all, it's isosceles. But look here, we have a linear pair. So let's use that to find y and then we can figure out what x is. Well, a linear pair means that both of these angles form a line and they add up to 180. Well, 180 minus 110 would be 70. And then we just learned if it's an isosceles that the base angles are congruent. So if this is 70, well then this, we can replace this y with a 70. Now we have all three angles. We can set up an equation. 70 plus 70 plus x equals 180. And then of course 70 and 70 is 140. Subtract 140 and then x equals 40. We have one more thing to learn and that is we need to look at an equilateral triangle. Well if a triangle is equilateral that means all three sides are congruent well then that triangle has to be equal angular as well. And let's think about this. If all three angles are congruent, and that's what equal angular means, well then, hmm, they would all have to be, well 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So every time we have an equilateral triangle, we know that the angle specifically, each one equals 60 degrees. Guys, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for watching and I think all of you guys are awesome. Period 1, period 5, period 6, period 7. You guys are the best. And I'll see you guys in class.